The Pink Lady Apple was originally invented and developed through a program in 1973 by horticulturalist John Cripps. The program involved crossbreeding the Lady Williams and the Golden Delicious. The intention of this combination was to create a sweet tasting apple that could travel well and be stored for long periods of time. Now, with exports forecast to be over 10,000 tonnes in 2020, the Pink Lady is one of Australia's most prized apples. ECU researchers Catherine and Nikki Bondono have found that due to the high amount of polyphenols or micronutrients in the skin, Pink Lady apples not only taste great, but have amazing health benefits. We conducted a clinical trial with Pink Lady apples where we got volunteers to come to our research unit. We gave them apples to eat and within a few hours we saw a reduction in blood pressure and an improvement in elasticity of their blood vessels. Uh, we then went on to conduct another study where we asked participants to have Pink Lady apples for four weeks and they were either instructed to eat the apple with the skin on or to peel the apple and eat the flesh only. And we only saw benefits in the group that ate the whole apple, or which kind of supports the hypothesis that all the good stuff is in the skin. At 93, John Cripps is well and truly retired and resides in his home in Perth with his beloved cat, Archie. He stays humble in acknowledging that he had help with a huge task at hand. I usually had two or three people working with me. So I didn't do it all myself. <laughs> Behind me is the first ever Cripps Pink Tree to then go on and produce these Pink Lady Apples. It was transported from Stoneville Research Centre in 1999 down here in Manjima. Steele Jacob is the Senior Technical Officer for the Apple Breeding Program at the Department of Primary Industries and Regional Development at the Manjima Research Centre. Here, he continues to make sure the program maintains its quality and consistency. These apple seedlings are the result of our cross-pollinations from last year. They are the, the result from taking pollen off one parent of apple, painting it onto another parent of apple, and then growing the apple to become a seed. The seed is then planted into these pots and, and grown into a tree that can be then planted out into our orchard blocks. This pollination process ensures consistency between the parent trees. While nature does a fantastic job of pollination, controlled consistency means the quality from seedling to apple is kept to the Pink Lady standard for generations to come.